for me what it was very uh, a lot of um, iOS yeah. I, I start seeing uh, more intricacies around iOS um, it's it's interesting how I, I think it's it feels to me that it's still a very fragile environment I mean compared to other dynamic languages I used this one feels a lot more I mean even comparing with Ruby right I think Ruby is a lot more stable from this point of view like having errors there and you don't know where they come from and so on yeah fair enough I don't know whether I would say I would say I would use the word fragile mm -hmm. uh, but it does have its specifics it's actually a very 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 interesting juxtaposition of, uh, of, uh, of stuff because there's a part of it that's incredibly fresh and incredibly exciting mm -hmm. uh, and there's a part of it that's ancient and really weird mm -hmm. so let me give you some examples um, Swift is a very cool language it's really very functional and you can essentially make a point that half of Haskell is hidden in it yeah it's it's I'm really impressed by how how well they built a functional language that pretends to be an object oriented language <laughs> so well, it's I, very functional yeah yeah I spent a lot of time writing it until I figured out that it's way more functional than object oriented but Conversely, it does not have a garbage collection, or rather it has reference count. Yeah, well, that's fine, because I think that there's a reason, it's more functional, it's, you need to take care of these things. Yeah, but I mean, there are not that many modern languages that would make you, you know, like, be careful with loops. Mm -hmm. You don't have this problem in Java, you don't have mm -hmm. it in Scala. It, it felt a bit like C++ from this point of view, like, yeah, exactly. yeah, you know, objects, take care, allocation, deallocation, and so on. It's reminiscent of that, yeah. And that's kind of the history of Objective-C. By mm -hmm. the way, another very impressive thing here is that they have a very cool language, and it oper in interrupts with Objective-C, which is this monstrosity from the 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, but Xcode is a bit shitty. Mm -hmm. Their APIs are a bit shitty. And, uh, you know, like, they're not a huge neighbor of open source. So, mm -hmm. of course. so if they were building it, they would have much nicer errors. But, like, with Rx Swift, you occasionally struggle. Mm -hmm. Now, as I mentioned, they are doing something called Combine, which is essentially Rx Swift. Slightly different, but the same. And they're also essentially removing this, like, view controller nonsense and doing something called Swift UI, which is really reminiscent of React and is very cool and functional. Mm -hmm. It's still early days, it needs to interrupt with the old stuff, but uh, I'm just I'm just very impressed to see like a fresh new technology in the midst of this ancient old behemoth that <laughs> is really scary. So, uh, it really took me a while to figure it out, but there's a very, very interesting and cool core in the middle of stuff that's a bit more dated. I think it's also the environment feels a bit... Uh, that's why I use the word fragile, but maybe also it feels to me unstable or something you cannot count on. It's that kind of place where maybe you can hunt errors for a long time. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And you do get used to it, but it's a bit weird. Yeah. And by the way, it might be like I've messed up something here and that's why we have half the problems. But in my experience, it just has, has its weirdness. For example, if you do a build in the middle of another build occasion, it just like dies weird. Mm -hmm. instead yeah. Of, uh, instead of like figuring it out. I think not a lot of IDs like that or editors yeah. or anything. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you would never see that in IntelliJ or Android Studio. Yeah, that's true. But but you know you, you get used to it. Uh, it's 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 acceptable. Mm -hmm. 
and yeah yeah it's a again a very interesting juxtaposition yeah i mean i i have i have this theory actually that uh, all successful software uh you can f- and like the really successful stuff that has been very very big and very popular are always based on layers and layers and layers and layers of legacy shit. Yeah. So if you look at uh, the modern JavaScript, it's really cool, but it sits on top of like years and years of HTTP, JavaScript, HTML, and like Blink tag, Mark tag, and so on. Yeah, that's true. If you look at uh, the X, uh, like the modern processors, Virtually every modern processor is uh, a RISC processor that emulates a CISC processor from the 80s. Mm-hmm. So every every processor has a set of instructions that are not its real instructions, but uh, something like really old defined in X, x86, mm-hmm. and they're like emulating it. And yeah, like every every time you get something really successful chances are it's gonna have this like big trace of really shitty legacy and the really shitty legacy here is the objective c world and um and um the actually desktop mac world because a lot of the ios um yeah it was UI kit concepts were modeled after the desktop ones mm-hmm. so yeah it's just like part it, of life i think you can imagine that it's very difficult to start all over and scratch everything and now say from now you're going to do this it's extremely expensive it's extremely costly to, costly and maybe even not very functional to some extent you need some years yeah to have a new system working so i, I guess there are good reasons for having this legacy crap because hey it works right yeah. Yeah, yeah, de- definitely, and, you know, like time to market. Like mm-hmm. if Apple wanted to do the cool things they were doing now uh, in 2008 instead, the iPhone would have been a few years late to the market. Yeah. You know, and it would have been like totally dominated by Android. Mm-hmm. Uh, but they they did what they had and it's out there. Yeah. And then they iterated. So, yeah. Okay. Anything else? Uh, no, not really. How how was it for you? Did you notice anything new? Um, I noticed that we were a bit more fast, uh, fast, I think. But also, I would commit more often. I would have committed more often at times. You also saw that. Yeah. Um, and anything else i think it, it becomes more complicated that's the thing it, yeah you start going, seeing yeah. more of the core of whatever is going on and and the the insides of this uh, environment yeah that's yeah all. that's you know that, that's where the fun is <laughs> yeah cool okay so let's wrap it up Thank you for this session and until next time, have fun coding. Yeah, thank you for having me. Bye bye.